guys, um, this is Fabiana from creativeswimmer.com. I teach you every week how to make a different um, bikini set. And um, this week I'm making this one, which is which pairs with the, which is the set of the crochet top with the flowers that we just made last week. So I use the same colors in this little part here, so we could uh, match with uh, the same colors of the that top. Okay. So to make this bottom. I used this yarn here. Okay, it's a brand from sold in Australia. Okay, but uh, this is a four ply, four ply, a hundred percent cotton yarn that I'm using. You can find it anywhere. I left a, a link on the description below of where to find this yarn in America, but here in Australia, I buy it at the reject shop because I don't really like the yarn from Spotlight and it's really, really expensive. So that's where I buy it. I think it's pretty good yarn for crochet bikinis because it's like it's a light yarn, so it doesn't take too long to to dry. And I, yeah, for the price, it's like two dollars fifty for a row. So. You need these four colors just because we used four colors, but um, to make this bikini bottom, you only gonna use 50 grams, which is equivalent of one ball. Okay, the a hook I'm using is this one, and it is 1.6 millimeters hook. Okay. I think it's the best hook because it makes it doesn't uh, it makes a really uniform stitch, and as you can see, it's not very see-through. It's very close together, and uh, you also need uh, 50 centimeters of this uh, polyamide lining. Okay, 50 centimeters should be enough, and. Um, thread and needle to stitch it if you're not using your sewing machine uh, I, advise, uh, I advise you to use this thread the same color of this part that's where it's gonna be stitched at and um, okay guys uh, subscribe to my channel that helps me a lot to keep making new swimwear for you guys every week and um, like my video if you enjoyed this um, tutorial and um, leave me a comment if you liked it and if you could make it all the way to the end I would love just to know okay guys so let's start this project right now so to start this bikini we are going to make 40 chains. So chain 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, After you made 40 chains, we are going to make one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4. In the fourth one, we make a double crochet our first double crochet and then one chain skip one uh, chain here and double crochet in the next one and so one double crochet and another double crochet in the next one always one stitch every chain okay and then one chain Skip one chain from here, double crochet in the next chain, two double crochets, one in the next chain, and then chain one, skip one, repeat the same. So repeat this all the way 
to the other side all the way to the end of this row okay so repeat this all the way to the end here color oops so do the same thing then finish the last stitch then grab the purple and pull it through just pull it this one a bit pull this one and here we'll be making three chains one two three exactly the same as before three chains and turn your work grab the tails here and make two stitches right on that uh, chain from before as well one two one chain I'm gonna put the tails there so I need to finish them better just because I have this space in between the stitches I can't really finish this way so I'll finish later and then one chain there skip that two I'm going to be just repeating the same row we made before Okay, and then after this row, I'm gonna start with the off-white color and just solid uh, double crochets with no space in between them. So finish this row there and then we're gonna ch change to off-white color. Finish this row with two double crochets and another double crochet unfinished at the end because I'm being I'll be changing two off white colors. So here you can cut all this yarn from before because I'm changing these colors. Okay, put them all away. grab your off-white color so just make a loop around the hook pull it through and pull a bit hold all the tails with your finger so you can make one two three chains to start this next row so in this row here to so put the tails right there where right there on the back there or right on the front here just you know right on top of my stitches and then I made three chains and I'm going to make a double crochet in that next double crochet there and double crochet across so here I can fully cover my tails because I have one stitch right next to the other just pull it a bit and put to the side here when you finish with it I normally make around six stitches okay that's enough and so I'm just make one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end now so i finish my row here in that very last chain from the row before and now i have 34 double crochets here and I'm going, um, I'm going to now start decreasing stitches so I'm going to decrease one stitch every side because in swimwear you need, always need to decrease both sides the same so you start shaping the bikini and that's the reason why you always decreasing one stitch here and one stitch on the other side to make the bikini bottom so 
I'll start with two chains here, turn the work, and then we are going to skip here, or you can even, there's two ways of decreasing, one is skip stitches, the other one is making two double crochets together, so whatever is easier for you in this design, I'm gonna make two double crochets together which is gonna give me one at the end so I have one here and one here and then I'm going to double crochet across and on the other side I'm just gonna be making one stitch at the very end so here I'm going to be making only one stitch here to decrease. So here on this side I'm going to be only making one at the end here. So this last double crochet before the chains I'm going to make only one stitch instead of two. So one double crochet there and then two chains to turn the work again. And here on the beginning I'll be always making two double crochets together. So the second and the third will always be two double crochets together. And then double crochet across. And on the other side I only make one instead of two in this last stitch here. So repeat that all the way until you count 10 double crochets and that's including the two chains on the beginning. So the two chains plus nine double crochets. Keep decreasing until you have 10 double crochets left. So I made here, decreased um, all the way until I have 10 double crochets here, counting with the two first chains, okay? And so that took me 17 rows to get here. And then I made all the way to 34 rows, so I have 34 right now, and all the rest is only 10 double crochets, so then that's gonna be in between, you, in between the legs. So uh, we're gonna make a g-string, not much coverage, so from now on I'm going to be increasing two double crochets each second row, okay? Because we want very low coverage. So if you are making, I'm making a small here, if you're making a medium or a large, just add two rows to each side size so two more rows for a medium four more rows for a large and so now i'm going to make a, have my two chains here and turn the work and i'm going to make another uh, my first double crochet in this last double crochet from the row before here so i'm going to increase two one here and one here in crochet bikini, you in crochet swimwear, you always have to make sure you increase both sides the same. Otherwise, the sides are gonna be different. So you always increase this on this side and on this side in pretty much every design. So um, we're gonna make double crochet across here. And then one double crochet before the last, or on the last double crochet, because we have the two chains from the beginning here. In this double crochet, we are going to make two double crochets, increasing one stitch this way. So we increased one here and one here. And now on my next row I'm going to just uh, make crochet, uh, double crochet across okay so 
one double crochet in each double crochet here and then on the next row I'm going to increase again so you will be increasing and you'll be increasing two double crochets each second row okay not every row each second row of course if you want more coverage you can increase one double crochet oh, I just increased here so I'm so used to increasing every row uh, if you want more coverage you gonna increase to every row okay and that way you're gonna have more coverage if you want even more coverage you can increase two a double crochet as each side every row that's another way of making it but right now we are gonna be increasing two double crochets every second row okay so now we are going to make two chains to turn our work and then increase again so one double crochet in this first double crochet and then double crochet across and two double crochets at the end as well so we are going to be increasing this way until you have 48 rows counting from the beginning okay counting from here where and then so you're gonna count 48 rows from the beginning there and then you can stop um, making your crochet because we are going to make the same um, change of colors here with the same design so just repeat this really so increase here so one two double crochets and one at the, the end on in that first chain there so repeat this all the way until you count 48 rows from here and then we're just gonna repeat this work on the back as well okay so here um, I increased two stitches on these last two rows so if you have a small you're gonna have 48 for a medium 50 rows and for a large 52 rows right here at this stage okay and now I'm gonna use the same um, same um, sequence of colors that I used before here so I'm getting my purple this purple is really nice and so before I finish this last double crochet here I'm going to put the purple through and just pull all the and then I'm going to make two chains here and I'm, I'm gonna keep increasing here okay so worry about finishing this I'm gonna finishing this I'm gonna finish this later okay so uh, it's not too busy so I made my two chains there and then I'm going to increase one so I'm making one more in this first row here and then one chain same thing I, I made before okay skip one here and a double crochet in the next two rows two double crochets and then one chain skip one another double two double crochets so repeat this same row for the other colors as well always increasing one double crochet 
on each side, okay? So, because we need to keep making the triangle shape. We don't want it square at the end. So that's the reason why we are always increasing on the first stitch and on the last one, okay? So repeat this like we did before here, same sequence of colors, okay? And then we are going to finish this bikini with the straps on each side. So we finish the three rows with the colors, same sequence I had on the back. And then I finished all the... I already hide all my tails here. I recommend you do that because it's just easier to make this last row, so I just didn't finish the off-white color because I'm gonna keep working with it. So I'm going to make a um, single crochet row around the whole piece. So put your hook through this last stitch here and pull it and then make a chain there and then single crochet here in the middle of your next row so and one here in this uh, chain here so we will be making two single crochets two in each row okay one in the middle of the row and one at the end of the row here on the corners I always make two, so make the corner right, and here one single crochet in each stitch. So repeat this all the way around your piece. And then we're gonna make a second row and then finish it off making the straps around it. Okay, so go all the way around until you're back here. So uh, I made a single crochet row all around the entire piece and then I finished here with um, single crochet in the first single crochet as you can see and now I'm going to make four chains one two three four chains and I'm gonna make a um, double crochet row around the entire piece so four chains there and then skip one here and a double crochet there one chain skip one here another double crochet one chain skip one here and this is gonna be in the right on the corner and then here on the top I don't want to make my bikini any longer than that any I mean uh, taller than that so I'm just gonna make a um, chain here and I'm going to make a single crochet Two single crochets in this double crochet and single crochets all the way to the other side. Okay. So single crochets all the way to the corner here. And then here on the corner I made um, my last double crochet in this in this uh, single crochet there okay single crochet here and then i'm going to make one two three four chains to start going on the side so i'm going to skip to skip this one make my next double crochet there so i'm gonna go all the way down to the next corner and on the top here single crochets again so I'm going to make this all around so one chain skip one here one double crochet one chain 
just keep going and I'll do the whole crochet so repeat this all the way to the other corner where we're gonna have single crochets again okay and so you're gonna repeat this all the way to this end here and then I show you how to do the other side so here you repeat the same thing from before so I made a double crochet right on the corner <clears throat> and that's very important that's right on the corner because um, the strings will all be on the same place when you finish this bikini okay so one chain here and then a single crochet and another single crochet in the next stitch so two single crochets all the way so made my last chain here and now I'm going to make a single crochet in this third chain from before from the beginning I mean okay and then now from here I'm going to make a single crochet here and a single crochet here and then I'm going to make my picot stitch which is the same one that I used on the top on a match you normally in crochet it's um, it's nice if you can match the stitches on your top and on your bottom so I'm, I'm making the same edges that I did on my top and I'm also gonna use the same lining color of this top okay so to make that picot stitch uh, the way I do it I make two chains here to the top and then I put my hook through this first um, single crochet here and I make another single crochet here and then I skip one stitch and make it here and then another single crochet and another single crochet right there on the very corner so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be making my first strap I'm gonna make, uh, make the straps straight from here and then back with a picot stitch as well because that that makes it more strong okay I could you could do this way as well like I did on the top so yeah I uh, made this first picot stitch here and then on the corners for the straps I'm gonna be making the same way I made my straps on the top which is like this with a double with double yarn okay so to do that I won't be making any picot stitches on the corners so um, I'm gonna just be making single crochets here so two single crochets in this corner single crochet okay and then one single crochet two just when you we are a bit out of this corner like far from this corner we're gonna make our first picot stitch so two chains single crochet here and skip one here another single crochet so we're gonna have three single crochets in between each picot so I made one two three and another picot so two chains single crochet skip one here and another three single crochets one in each single crochet from before okay picot again so what we're gonna do is skip one chain here make one single crochet there one two three and another picot stitch 
So when I get to the corner, don't make any picot stitches here. Just go around with single crochets until you get to this stitch here and then picot all around here until you get to the next corner. So you're gonna be basically uh, be repeating this this part here all the way around the entire piece and then after that we're gonna attach the straps one strap in each corner so we can tie our bikini with the straps okay so repeat this uh, single crochet picot um, row all around your piece and then I'm gonna teach you how to make the straps after that um, after this last picot stitch here we're just gonna put the hook through and finish with a slip stitch here and then you guys can cut this and then now we are going to make uh, straps around this baby I think from what I'm looking here I'll have to use the front the back on the front because the front the, the front's a bit too big but you can choose whatever you think is better for you okay the size is perfect for a small and then now we are gonna add the straps on the sides and for that you you're gonna need two rows of this yarn the off-white yarn okay you're gonna need two rows because we're gonna use double on each side here as you can see i have two rows of the same color of yarn and i'm going to make in each corner of your bikini but I mean right on the corner probably here and here you have to always make sure you're right on the corner otherwise it looks weird after and so put the hook through right on the corner and then grab your double yarn there Leave the tail to the back and make chains. Okay, we're gonna take care of this tail later. So you're gonna be making a hundred chains to each side of your bikini on each corner. So this corner and this corner and this corner, a hundred chains. And when you finish these 100 chains, please leave um, around 25 inches of yarn tail because we want to make we want to make a tassel at the end, okay? And I make my tassels straight after the, um, the straps with the same yarn, okay? So leave around 25 inches of tail at the end of each one of your straps so 100 chains okay if you're making a medium or a large make a little bigger make around 110 or even 120 just in case okay but because it's a bigger size you need more a bit more strap uh, to on the sides because the hips are bigger so I'm going to make a hundred chains here and then I'm going to make one each corner always leaving 25 uh, inches of tail at the end okay make four of them after you finish your 100 chains with the 
double yarn. Um, we are going to make our tassel. Okay, so yeah, finish it here like you always do in this last chain, and then here in the very last chain, put your hook through, and we're gonna pull this yarn through a few times. Okay, this something like this distance should be around two inches, I reckon. But you can make you know you can make your tassel longer. You can make your tassel any size you want. I just like them smaller. So always in the same uh, chain here. Just grab the yarn and pass through a few times. I normally do four, okay? So four times. Make sure you don't pull it after you remove from your finger. And I'm gonna cut one of the long tails that I have left. Okay, and then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap this long tail around a few times. You can actually do as many as you want. So I go down and then I come back up a bit and then I grab my hook. It can be a smaller hook to make it easier, okay? Pull the hook through and feel and then pull it through and that's your tassel so what you do now is just you cut here all on the same side size I mean and then here you can always brush it so yeah it would look even better I actually have to buy one for me because I don't have it but if you have how to do it at home I think would look much nicer but that's as you can see it's a perfect tassel and it's that easy to make so now um, I'm going to repeat that to all of them okay and finish these tails off as well I normally put them to the back a bit I put them on the back make sure you finish it strong you can even make a little knot here so it won't open because there will be a lot of pressure on this so make two knots here and then just hide behind a few stitches okay just hide behind here the way I do it is I grab the hook and just put it through a few stitches before you cut it so here so I don't normally use the tapestry needle because that's a lot of work I just you know use the hook it is much easier and you don't have to leave that big tails to finish it off you know what I mean so this is the way I do it and then make sure you stretch it off and then you can just cut it here so I'm going to do that all around the piece to all of make tassels from all the tails as well and then we are going to add the lining on this bikini to finish it off so I've placed this um, fabric this it's a polyamid lining is the same lining you use for normal swimwear okay you can also use lycra as well but uh, for this bikini I think it's better the polyamid lining because it's very thin and it's the same one that I use on the top as well so I think this one is better 
So I cut um, around two meters of thread, put in this needle, and then I made a little knot at the end there. Okay, and then I put some pins here, like around the back part. That's where I'm going to style. So I normally start here. to start on the back and on the corners as well. I and I always go around twice here and then make another knot. If you are experienced enough, you can do that on your sewing machine. Okay, so now I'm going to start folding. I'm gonna fold just a little bit of the fabric, okay? And then I'm going to put it, put the hook through the fabric and up like that. Go slowly so I don't make any knots on your thread. It's really easy to make knots and it's really annoying to remove. There you go. And that's the stitching I'll be making all the way around. So keep folding it and stitching all the way around. And then finish where you started with a little knot. Okay, so I'll be doing that all the way around. For this um, bikini, you can't really use cotton. Yeah, I, I really advise you to use the polyamide lining because, because mainly because of the top because it has the flowers and it, it will adjust better to you to your um, breast with this material because um, it is it is much more flexible and much more thin if you use cotton you won't look good I don't think so yeah keep repeating this all the way around and then I'll be back when I finished this part to show you how it looks like. So finish the stitching the lining on it. As you can see, I didn't cover this part here because I like it to be open. I think it's better. But what I did really wanted to cover is this here because this can't really be open on the front. On the back you probably could, but on the front I would say you better put this lining and cover this little stitch here because it's way too open. Anyway, we finished one more. 
uh, let me know in the comments how did you like it and um, uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot to grow my channel and keep making other videos for you guys. Thank you so much. I see you next week.